An investigation is underway as police look for a killer elsewhere after a murder early this morning in Penn Hills. Nicole Ford is live with the latest on that from police. Nicole. Again, neighbors tell me the school bus had just picked up the kids in the neighborhood when they heard a loud pop. Those who live further up Mount Carmel Road tell me they heard at least nine gunshots and saw a man who had just finished a landscaping job fall to the ground. Now, county police tell me they're looking for the person who pulled the trigger. What started as a normal Tuesday. Nothing like that happened here. I mean, it was, it was crazy. I mean, and them many shots. Quickly turned into a tragedy in this Penn Hills neighborhood. I was sitting in my car, just came back from the store, and I heard a lot of gunshots, and so I ducked down in the car. Greg Franklin tells me once he felt safe, he went running up the hill on Mount Carmel to the sounds of screaming. The young man was still alive. You know, he had been shot nine times to try to crawl out the other side of the, uh, the truck. And we was like, don't move them. And then that's when I went to the fire department. County police say that 24 year old man from Wilkinsburg died on the scene. Police believe he was targeted while on that landscaping job. The witness said that the uh, victim was in the, in the truck, uh, that the uh, suspect walked down. There might have been some words exchanged. We're still working on clarifying that. And uh, the suspect shot through the truck's window, striking the victim. As for a potential suspect, police believe they have a lead. Um, we have a suspect description of a black male with a black hoodie, blue jeans who fled uh, on Mont Carmel Road towards Mont Carmel Cemetery. Ring doorbell footage did capture video of that same man running from the scene, but police are asking anyone with any information to come forward. County police tell me the biggest challenge in this investigation is conflicting stories. There were multiple witnesses and residents outside at the time of the shooting, but all that information isn't adding up to one clear picture. So there's still a lot of details to be sorted out tonight. Reporting live outside Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.